Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So this is a collective reading from the 20th to the 26th of September 2021. Remember it's general so it won't resonate for all of you in the collective. Obviously you're not all going through the same thing but hopefully some things may resonate for some of you. Let's have a look at the energy for the week, first of all. I feel there's a lot going on at the moment in the collective, a, a shift happening for some people. We've got the Angel of Strength helping some of you on your journey as you're going through changes, deciding to make changes for some of you. Um, and it's interesting with the first card, Journey, showing that, a decision some people are making crossroads. Do you keep going on the path you're on or do you take another route? For a lot of you, this is around your spiritual journey um, and some people have really started to tap in to signs they're receiving from spirit. That could be numbers, it could be feathers, um, birds, doves, you know, things you keep seeing. And there's always a sign in those things. Um, so look it up, you know, if like you keep seeing a dove, for example, symbol of peace and love, for example, um, white feathers as well. Some of you uh, could be waiting on a new job, and this is potentially coming in for some of you, an offer here. You need to be patient as you go through this change. Um, there's definitely a, a shift happening with the clock, karma, destiny. For some of you. I'm also feeling with this, this is around people thinking about what they're committed to, who they're committed to. So either your purpose with this journey, making a change, maybe leaving your job, starting something new, something spiritual that you're being guided to do. Spirit is opening the door to these gifts that some of you have. And for some of you, it's around who you're committed to. And looking deeply at the commitment you're in, for example, is that where you want to be? I feel for a lot of people, it isn't. There's a spiritual connection on some of your minds. And it's like a choice point at the moment in this connection, this change. So we've got, yeah, we've got seven twice here showing um, a lot of spiritual growth spiritual journey definitely for a lot of you 
Okay, so let's look with the tarot. A bit more at the energy. Yeah, Ten of Wands. So some of you have been in situations that have been very heavy. You've found some enlightenment recently in terms of what you want, deciding what you want. Some people have felt very lonely I'm feeling here, even if you're in a connection, you felt lonely. This is something that comes up a lot, I feel. And this is always, for me, guidance for someone. If that's how you feel, then there's something lacking there, but that thing that's lacking is within yourself, not in the connection. Um, but it could, it could also be that you've grown apart from the person you're with as you started to, to grow spiritually. So some of you have really been keeping things to yourself in terms of how you feel and what you want. It's quite interesting he's holding the coin and we had that here. So focused on that commitment, you know? Where is your commitment? Who is, who is your commitment with? Are you committing to yourself? Are you happy with what you commit yourself to in your work? Because I feel that some of you are um, awakening, you're being given this wake-up call to make changes with this door to spirit we had to go towards your purpose in life. Which is around, you know, um, your commitment so how you make your living now it seems this is really coming out with these two some, some people are thinking about their commitment their marriage or someone they're committed to and we've got the three of swords here showing breakups potentially with this awakening um, and healing, a lot of healing here that's been happening and spiritual growth, some people are realising that where they're at no longer serves them. So there's that, that journey. You know, it happens. If you've been in a karmic situation, it happened for a reason, but it won't be forever. You learnt your lessons and then it's time to move on. But some people are struggling, I'm getting, with this decision. And with committing to yourself, making changes. We've got a third party, you know, so it's something definitely around your work that's getting in the way of your mission or a partnership, potentially. Let's see about the blocks here.
Interesting, two sevens. So for some of you it is trusting your spirituality, the guidance you're receiving, moving forward. Some people are unable to do that. Um, lying to yourselves, not seeing a way out. Feeling betrayed, focused on things that have happened to you from your past that are making you unable to, to move forward. And for some of you, you're not focused on your happiness. That's the block. You're stuck somehow. Um, lying to yourself in your situation are you you know just ask yourself are you happy with where you're at whatever that situation is that relates to you because i find a lot of people um people i've spoken to as examples i won't go into detail just general but you ask them, are you happy? And they're like, oh yeah. And then, as they start to talk to you and reveal more that's hidden, they realise, oh, actually, I'll, ask, I'll answer that question again. You know, maybe I'm not happy. And that's, you know, that lying to yourself. Because it's what you're used to doing. It's the ego talking. You know, especially when you say, oh, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do this. Well, what's holding you back? Yourself. You know, you're not moving forward on your journey. Anyway, someone had to hear that, or some people had to hear that, I, I was told. Um, let's see the advice for the collective. So it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> um, focus on what you want to do. Follow your heart. Tap into those emotions that I was just saying, you know. Not surface level. Like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Right, go deeper. And ask yourself, am I really happy? Or is there better out there? Am I just holding myself back? Because often that is the case, it's the mind, what society tells you you should do that keeps you held back, but there's no reason why you can't change your life. So there we go, decision, make that decision. Here's again the two paths that came up before. Do you stay where you are or there's this path here where the world is your oyster? You see, and some of you need to believe that. Be honest. <laughs> so we've got like the opposites of, of the cards before, yeah. Be honest, speak your truth with others and with yourself. Okay, well, that was like really quick. <laughs> I feel for this week and that's what I was feeling the energy it's speeding up at the moment with people who are going through these shifts okay so here we go some of you may have been listening too much to other people this can also hold people back not listening to your inner core your inner voice which has all the answers how do these people around you know 
what's best for you. They think they know what's best and that's because they don't have a life of their own. So they interfere. Okay, don't listen to those people. Is my guidance here. Or spirit's guidance. Be strong. See, on your own, you can find the answers within. Go within to find your answers. Commit to yourself. Look at what you're committed to. Some of you might want to go away to do this. Just be away from the world for a while. Maybe go and see someone. So choose wisely. You know, some of you are being guided to reach out, but yeah, choose wisely here. Because again here, notice he's putting a chair in front of you. Some people don't want the best for you. Some people want to reach out and put things right, apologise to someone in the collective. Some people are having memories from the past here about the one that they truly feel they want to be with. We've got 33, master number. It's that spiritual growth, that journey. Okay, so let's see in love if we get any messages here. So divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, angels are working behind the scenes. A lot of people ask about timing. So I just want to make a comment on that. Um, I don't, in my personal readings, I do make a point, but I don't answer questions around timing because it is about divine timing, which can change from week to week, month to month. It's about when the universe sees the, your energy as being right. It's the right time. But in the universe, time is fluid. So for you, it might feel like, you know, it might have been years. <laughs> um, but that's irrelevant. It's all about the energy. When the energy is aligned for you and someone, for example, to come together. That's when it happens. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Amazing, I said that, see? The chemistry. So there's a lot of chemistry between you and someone on your mind. You could be twin flames. This is my twin flame card. You may be feeling your twin's energy right now or someone's energy right now. Trust that. Okay, so that means you're in their thoughts. They might be manifesting you, thinking about you. Let your friends help you as we had. Um, ask for support, but just be wary of who you um, reach out to. Because not everyone has your back. And if you're on a spiritual journey and they're in the 3D, then they're just not going to get it. Some people are going to make the effort and reach out here with that visit. So you may receive a surprise visit. Some people are being guided to do this. And you're being guided to, to flirt, be light-hearted, not too heavy if someone approaches you. Um, could be someone who put you in a third-party situation, there was heartbreak here. So you want answers, but take it slowly. 
that's what I'm what I'm hearing here. Okay, let's take some charms. Now I'm getting the name Dan come through, could be for some of you. So we've got a horse for strength, determination, courage, safety pin, a few things. I'm seeing like the four of pentacles with this, things that are repressed, emotions, some people are keeping to themselves, but also if you open up, you know, and go towards that cause, that great cause, that great love, which it says on here, amazing. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting with that safety pin. Security though, some people are focused on their security. angels are around you working behind the scenes as we had here giving you signs could be seeing feathers numbers angel numbers always look up the numbers for messages and the octopus so yeah that's spirituality before we had the daughter spirit trust your intuition your gifts might be heightening right now. In terms of signs you're seeing, could be increasing. And again, um, with that break, some of you might want to go away to the sea to just think things through before you make this decision some of you are making. And it's interesting we had, well, they're not horses, they're donkeys, but <laughs> with the horse, you know, I'm seeing strength. Um, and two of you being like pillars and coming back together. You might even go away and meet someone new. This is another message I'm getting here. Okay everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love and I'll see you soon.